The last thing we're going to look at is the alarm screen button. You tap on the alarm screen, it takes you to the alarm screen. Now, let's start at the top here. We have an enable, disable, compressor, low pressure protection. It says if disabled, compressor will cut out above 121 degrees. This is a, just a bit of redundancy that we've added with the last release. Um, typically when your, when your L200 Pro runs, it has two pressure sensors built into the unit. You've got a high pressure and a low pressure sensor. Now, if any one of these goes bad, for whatever reason, your L200 unit would stop and it would not run at all. Um, just to enable you to run on or to carry on drying, you can actually uh, enable or you can disable the, the looking at these two transducers and it will then trip purely on temperature. So the, the compressor will be forced to go off at 121 Fahrenheit, which is the high limit of, of that compressor running. If it's disabled, it will look at the pressure. I mean, if it's enabled, it will look at the pressure. If it's disabled, it will look at the temperature. We'll chip based on that. Uh, we have a few, we have a few uh, statuses that you can look at here. So if the low pressure goes less than 10, it will go to chip. If it's less than 10 or it goes to zero, it can mean one of two things. Either there is a leak in your system or the transducer is bad. If your high pressure goes too high, it will just switch off the compressor. Uh, it typically will run below 400 under normal working conditions. If it does go higher, it will just switch off the compressor. It's just a safety. Um, compressor trip, it looks at a combination of these factors. For instance, if the compressor is cold, but the pressure is still very low, it will tell you that it's a trip. It will you'll send you an email saying there's a possible leak on your compressor. Uh, e plus E sensor, this is just simply if there's the communication is lost to the uh, white electronic uh, E plus E sensor, it will come up saying it's not healthy. Fan strip, if one of the overloads on the fan starter starters in your electric panel trips, it will show you that it's tripped. Same goes for the blower, also for the heater. You can enable an email uh, alert if any of these happens. If your controller is connected to the internet and the, in the, the IP settings are correct and there is an email address and it says send log files, it will send you an alert if one of these goes, to, goes into a chip or an unhealthy mode.